Welcome to Weekly Sushi! Ah! Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully you can see me. Am I close enough? Am I too far away? I try to do something cute because I'm not using the HD camera because your girl couldn't, didn't have enough spoons to put makeup on. So I try to do like this like light thing in the back with like my mermaid blanket tail. Patrick got me that for Christmas a couple years ago. But yeah. Um, so yeah, and then you got you got Frank Frank's butt right here. That's perfect, right? And oh, this this is this is Noe's pig. Um, I bought him a stuffed animal. I thought it reminded me of him for some reason. <laughs> Noe, yeah, it reminded me of Noe, and I bought it for him because I don't have children. So there you go. Anyways, so yeah, welcome to Weekly Sushi. Ah! I'm finally trying to get back on this hence the whole no makeup yesterday I tried to film and so I did my makeup and I did my hair and then I passed out on the bed and yeah so there you go so in this weekly sushi I took notes so that we're not all over the place and whatnot notes notes and I'm trying to deal with like natural lighting right here so if the lighting's changing and it's funky, let me know. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you like this setup. I know I got the living room, but we have a gardener who comes in the afternoon to do sporadic gardening. He lives here, so he lives in the same place I do, so. Um, I, that's why I'm back here, so. There you go, there you go. But hey, here we are, we made it. I'm gonna try and doing weekly sushi and filming it maybe so I can get it. I, my plan and I'm gonna show you guys in my this weekly sushi um, is to try and get sushi up on Mondays Mondays Tuesdays really the beginning of the week because for me the beginning of the week is kind of hard for me because I um I'm at home by myself all week because I am a spoonie I am disabled and I can't function like a normal person and get up and just go to a job because of my pain and the way it is I can't so I'm trying to make this work here here we go so there you go yeah no we sorry I the cat the cat that owns the pig yeah he's he climbs over everything we call it tight rope in it tight rope in it you know, like a tight roper, like in a circus, how they'll walk across things. That's what we call it, tight roping. So Noe will get on the edge of things and he'll like walk, try to walk across it and everything. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and I forgot how rude of me before I get into this this week's weekly sushi topic. Um, I want to say welcome to all of the new people who are here new subscribers welcome um i like to call us the mermaid tribe the desert mermaid tribe i use that hashtag a lot on um i use hashtag desert mermaid a lot desert mermaid and desert mermaid tribe hashtag desert mermaid tribe on instagram a lot so you guys can search that tag me in things you whatever that's what it's for it's for us it's for us this is here for us anyways so if you're new welcome sorry he's climbing over everything and I'm trying not to pay attention to it so much cats if you guys have a cat you totally get what I'm telling you so anyways um so yeah this this week's topic is about goals and goal making and I decided to do this topic because this is something that I struggle with is meeting goals because you know when you're a spoonie and you deal with chronic pain or chronic illness issues or if you deal with chronic um if you have mental mental is is a, to me mental things are a disability too they're very much physical um 
I I have I suffer from anxiety and um I you know have been through it so that's that's something too that uses up spoons so you know when you're someone like that it's, it's just, you know it's not easy life is not easy so um goals getting those goals done they're not easy for us and um I make goals and I've made goals and I've shared goals that I have with you guys in my vlogs um in other sushis like sushi weekly sushi this is called weekly sushi because this is meant to be every week and that's a goal I've been failing at doing um so this is this is this is what um I'm doing to try and keep up on my goals now what I did and have it back here have it back here um I took this, I have a notebook, I already had it. I bought this a while ago from Target. I love Target, you know. Girls, girls, no, no, it's not a girl thing because pa Patrick loves buying stuff there. It's a, it's a people thing, you know, us humans love Target. Humans love Target. We love to get up in there. We love the dollar spot. We love it all. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> <coughs> Are out. My allergies have been really bad, so like all the mucus is like draining out. You know, if the desert and if it blows and with all the dry weeds and flowers, it just goes everywhere and allergies, so sinuses, yeah. Anyways, back to goals. Um, if you guys um are new, um welcome to me going off on tangents, me having brain fog. I am on a lot of medication for my back so I can cope basically um if I'm not on a lot of meds I just want to sleep in bed and cry so <laughs> yeah and that gives me hey cut it out cats they're always fighting I have three boy cats and sometimes it feels like I have children so there you go anyways so back to this I have goals back to my goals oh tangents I, I don't even know they just totally just threw me off yes you threw me off Noe I don't even know I was talking about going off on brain fog and tangents and then you guys had to get into a fight and if these people are new to the channel they're totally clicking off right now and unsubscribing and not coming back because you were rude enough to knock me off my tangent my original tangent anyways okay let's get back to the topic at hand before i go off any further so this is my goal book that i got from target and i i had patrick patrick helped me with this patrick to me i know he's my he's basically my life partner <laughs> my partner we're not married but he's basically my my life partner and um he achieves any goal he sets he achieves it for the most part um as i if you guys aren't new um for those of you who have already been here patrick's in school to get his doctoral degree in finance i had to go with him a couple months ago to Colorado, he has to do these, they call them residencies, where you meet for a couple of days with professors and advisors, and you write this big paper that has to be approved, and it gets published in a journal and stuff, like big deal things, and I really, I know it's because I love him, I, I know, not just because I love him and everything, but I really look up to Patrick in a way because he's super he's super smart like um i should do that we should do a story time where we talk about how we met but i met patrick um when i was going to college to be a nurse before i got hurt um i met him in the tutoring center at the college okay. that i was going to it was a community college and i was taking algebra during the summer just to get get it out of the way and i'm not a good math skills person at all and um school something that's always came really difficult to me i have learning i had learning challenges back then um i had some i have some still have it called erlen where i can't read black little little black print 
on white text paper will start to blur for me. So I got, and I also suffered from very bad test anxiety. So I was someone who didn't deal well with school. Sorry if you hear my cat yelling back there. That's just who he is. Ignore him. Anyway, so I had the learning disabilities and um, so I went to the tutoring center to get help with math and that's where I met Patrick because he was a math tutor. So, um, yeah, that was just, that was kind of how we're, we met and um, a lot of times when we were going to, when I was going to college with him and I still do it when I'm editing and stuff, if I can get out of the house, I'll go with him to, um, there's a satellite campus. Um, it's not the school he's going to now. It was the school college he went to for his undergrad, for his master's degree. He'll go over there and he's still able to use the campus because he's alumni and all that. But um, I'll go with him and sit there with him and work on my editing and stuff if I'm able to, which I'm not able to as much as I wish to. And, or we'll go to Starbucks or we'll go to, um, one thing we really want to do is go to Panera and work on stuff. But anyways, Sorry, I just dropped my notebook. Point of all this is, is he's someone who I've always kind of gotten help with, with when it comes to like coming up with goals or things like that. Hold on a second. I gotta turn the fan. If you hear this like, it's the fan because it's a hundred and a um, hundred million degrees outside because I live in Palm Springs, AKA Coachella land and it is hot. So. That's the fan. Anyway, so um, I had Patrick help me out with my goals. And one thing he helped me do, and I wrote out goals for Desert Mermaid. I wrote out goals for, um, I wrote out step goals. Because you guys know I'm, I'm always trying to get more activity in. And so I'll use the step counter on my phone to track the steps um, that I do. And I try to get a little bit at a time throughout the day. And um, that's something I'm trying to do to get more exercise or activity in so I can lose weight for my back because I need that. And so I got step goals in my tracker. I have, um, I even made an uploading like tracker in this book too. Um, so the, the, goal, the way I started out and we'll just, I did this, this, this little template thing for all of my goals. But um, we'll go over the Desert Mermaid goals with you and so I can show you how I broke down my my Desert Mermaid goals, my step, my health goals, my step goals, you know, just like different goals for myself. So what I did was for Desert Mermaid goals, we separated it into long term goals, medium goals and short term goals. So there's always small things. When you have a goal and you have a big goal, like say I have a big goal of turning Desert Mermaid into a nonprofit eventually, right? That's my long, that's like a long term goal. And that's not something I can do by tomorrow. And when it comes to really these big goals like this, the only way you're going to achieve them is by breaking it down into smaller steps so it's easier so all you're focusing on is that one little step and you don't get overwhelmed because it's very easy to get overwhelmed when you're thinking of this one goal that's 10 plus years out and it's not happening tomorrow and you're like whoa there's a big disconnect because that's a that's a that's a long time away and you're trying to you're really trying to make magic happen, change something that is, create something that isn't there. And one way to do it is to write it down so you can visualize it. I heard someone say that this is, this is almost like making your own magic spell in a way, you know, like you could think of it that way. Like when you're coming up with a goal and then you go to write it down, you're kind of creating the spell bell you know it's it's another way of using the secret to manifest the things you want you know um you can't just sit there and think like i want a i want a car you know and you sit there 
Well, you gotta write down the steps to getting that, to, to how can you get that. So, um, I first started with the long-term goals, my big goals, and I wrote those down first because that's, that's the essence of why I'm all doing this. I want the Desert Mermaid to be a nonprofit. So, I wrote those down here. And I, I, I got a lot of little goals here. I don't want to share all of them. But some of them, you know, I have, like, I would, I want to create this as a nonprofit um, corporation so that I can employ people, maybe people who are disabled like me and who can't, quite do a regular job maybe somehow i can figure something out with desert mermaid that they can do so they can make money because as you guys know i got i got denied disability not it, it's very hard to get disability especially when you're younger um not everybody gets qualifies for it and it's not because they're lying it's not because they're really not disabled it's just this is how our government works. This is how it works in um, America, in the United States where I live. So, um, I'd like to be able to do that. I'd like to also create, um, one of my other things I put on here, a long-term goal, is I'd like to um, have, a, I would like to somehow have a nice piece of land by the beach, by the ocean, like a nice big piece of land um and i often like i love one of the things i i say is in my past life i was probably a real estate agent because i love to get online and look at how sorry about that they're not necessarily houses i want to live in because like frankly i look at that some of them and i'm like i don't want to be cleaning that shit. but i love looking at houses online <coughs> One of the things that pops up is these old camps or camps or big pieces of land in like northern central California that are right next to the beach. And I think about how I could maybe one day run Desert Mermaid from there and have this big piece of land and put tiny houses on it for people who need a place to stay, you know. And here's a place to stay because I know for me when I was first got hurt I wasn't working I couldn't work I didn't qualify for disability and I was very lucky to have my mom and Patrick to take care of me but I didn't you know it if I didn't have them what 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 would I have and there's some people out there that don't have that and I'd like to provide a place for people who don't have that and if those people are able to you know maybe contribute to Desert Mermaid and work that would be great too and if not just give a place for people to get on their feet or a place for people to go on a vacation because a lot of times when we're us who are chronically ill and chronically sick it's hard to travel to different places because they're not equipped for us or whatever and I could provide a place like that um and then also I with Desert Mermaid like I told you guys I want to start what's going to be coming up in the next couple weeks and that's a short-term goal I'm going to share with you is I'm going to start selling um jewelry and I I make necklaces I have the necklace here in a couple weeks I'm going to be coming out with um, necklaces on my Etsy shop. Don't feel pressured to buy them. You don't have to. We're going to do some giveaways. I'm going to figure out how to do a giveaway. I know there's like a lot of legality things to giveaways. So I, I need to do my research and stuff. So I don't mess any of that stuff up. But yeah, I'm going to be, you know, doing, um, making necklaces, um, bracelets, and um like key change slash cane bling you know like what i put on my cane here i'm gonna do stuff like that and um we'll do giveaways and things like that and um that will hopefully generate money to go back into desert mermaid so it can be grown and i can work towards this goal of making it a nonprofit and I think with it being a nonprofit, it's really going to open up a lot more opportunities for not just me, but all of us. And it, I don't need a business to profit off of and make a millions of dollars from, you know, if I could open up a nonprofit 
and you know hold a position in there where I make a paycheck that would be awesome and if I could provide a, a company for people to make a paycheck and get some benefits and things because I just I, I would love to do that so that's that's my long-term goal with Desert Mermaid in a nutshell if you guys kind of followed what I'm saying um, it's really hard for me and you guys are you're probably like why are you a non-profit corporate corporation they make a they do good and they do a lot of good and I I just want that money to go to good and yeah it's, it's just something I'm I'm really passionate about doing um like I found out like um I not a lot of people know this but IKEA is a non-profit corporation because they wanted to provide discounted furniture for pe everybody to have you know so there's a lot of companies out there like that that you know so that's 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 what I'm doing I'm trying to give you guys kind of like a well, yeah, an idea of what I'm doing I don't know but that's it that's it in a nutshell I know my my meds are kicking in and I don't want to like sound like I'm just like nutty and pie right now so <laughs> yeah that's my long-term goal um my medium goals are more like things like how like growing my channel like I said um getting my Etsy shop over I I have some like some numbers here um become a YouTube partner make the channel become a YouTube partner um, file the paperwork to make it a non-profit, you know, Desert Mermaid a non-profit, do all the legal things that comes with that. So those are a lot of like my medium goals are like meeting things like that, like paperwork and, you know, and that comes with like growth and everything. So that's what I'm hoping to do with that. And then the short-term goals I have on here are more like my getting started goals like being consistent like as you guys know being consistent like this is weekly sushi and it's not week been weekly since I started this is um being consistent are my short-term goals and putting um getting my Etsy shop up and running and um let's see <laughs> Posting to Instagram regularly, getting videos up on YouTube um, regularly, being consistent with functioning basically as a person, which is, as you guys know, like I couldn't get makeup on because I hurt so bad today. Um, but my short term goals, they might seem like things like most people could get done, but as if you're a spoony like me, um, you, you get it, like, the small things like that are real hard, and sometimes when I look at my short-term goals, and I relate it into the long-term goals I told you about, like, wanting to own this company and employ people and stuff like that, well, not own, but run a non-profit corporation and employ people and stuff like that, and have a giant piece of land for people to live, like, that sounds c crazy right now because I can't even get out of bed some days to post a video on YouTube. But I have it written down. And like I said, when you write these things down like this, it's like you're crafting a spell. It kind of goes back to the secret. For those, that I think most people know, have seen the secret. Um, it's on Netflix if you haven't, but you know, we're manifesting things. And part of that, you have to start by writing it down. Casting your spell. So yeah, it sounds really crazy right now that I want to create a non-profit corporation out of Desert Mermaid, out of a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. But I wrote it down in my Follow Your Dreams book. And one of the things I did to help complete some of my short-term goals is I wrote a little, like, goal tracker thing down in here. Where is this at? Where my little goal tracker? I know I put an uploading tracker here. Ah! 
there it is put an uploading tracker here you know and for this week because it's not Monday anymore now it's Tuesday and I didn't get my sushi up on Monday yesterday like I planned it's gonna happen I'm just gonna move on to the next box try to get a vlog up on Wednesday and yeah I might fail at that It happens and that's okay because I'm just gonna get, move on and do it again because this is this is like a long-term thing this is not meant to be something that I have to achieve in the next week or this is gonna just burn up and go away right right um one thing, a uh, quote I recently posted up on my Instagram, and if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, you should go over there. It's linked below, um, at Desert Mermaid underscore Keisha Marie. But anyway, so, um, small victories are still victories. And those small victories, they're going to add up to bigger victories. And they're going to get you where you need to go. You're not racing anybody else you're not going with anybody else you know go you're not racing anybody else this is just you this is you you're not up against anybody else so those small victories they're victories and they're gonna get you trying to go with your spell they're gonna try and get you to go where you're with your spell so That's this week's weekly sushi. I wrote my spell down in here, and that's to create a nonprofit organization to help people so they don't feel alone. Is it crazy? Maybe. I don't really care. It it's my dream and no one else's. So how about this? Let's see if you guys understood anything I said <laughs> this week. Um, what, what's a dream that you guys have? A goal you guys have? A dream. It can be crazy. Like, you want to jump off the, the roof and fly. Tell me your dream down below. Give me a goal, a dream, even if it's just like, I want to eat a bucket of ice cream. Below, let me know what your dream is and I think I'm gonna wrap up weekly sushi here um I think I I think I did a good job I think you guys might understand what I'm talking about here yeah so I'm gonna go but as always I'm sending lots of love and happy mermaid vibes to all the lovers and the haters. Because the haters just don't know how to do the spell, the magic spell yet. They don't know the magic like the lovers do. So if we send the love to them, maybe they'll get it. I love you guys, and you're probably unsubscribing right now because I'm so weird, but I don't care. I love you, mwah, mwah, mwah.